Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Huggins here and in this video we are going to be covering the One Minute Millionaire AHA number 22. God knows where the gold is. Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Huggins here. So we're going to cover the 22nd AHA today, God knows where the gold is. So we are getting super close. If you have been watching from the beginning, there are 24 ahas in the book and uh, obviously we are on number 22. So we've got this one and two more to cover. Make sure you uh, like the channel and subscribe so that way you can see those uh, reveals and what those ahas are all about. So I look forward to seeing you watching those videos as well. So here we go, let's go ahead and dive right in. So there was a Gallup poll that estimates that 95% of North Americans believe in God. So, if our spiritual life is so important to us, why don't we tap into the spiritual realms more often to reach our monetary goals? People don't usually associate money with spiritual matters. It's as if we want to maintain the separation of church and state in our personal affairs as well as our politics. Is it that money doesn't mix well with God? Frankly, we think it's quite ridiculous to learn to master money without involving the author of all wealth. As someone said, God knows where the gold is. If you think about it, he probably also knows which stocks are going to go up tomorrow, which real estate is bound to triple in the next year, and which business ideas are destined to make some deserving person a millionaire. Before you start thinking that the Bible teaches that poverty is a virtue, remember that Abraham, revered as father by three great religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. We also one of or was also one of the wealthiest men in the entire world at the time, a billionaire by today's standards. Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Genesis 13, 2. These material blessings were not a curse, but a reward for his faithfulness. Almost every spiritual path has sacred writings that teach about the abundant universe and the importance of sharing our abundance. Here are two of our favorite passages. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and learn not unto thine own understanding. In all thy was acknowledged, him and he shall direct thy paths. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst with new wine. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, and 9 through 10. And then we have another excerpt here. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. It's Malachi 3, 10, and 11. So in our study, we find no other promise made so clearly. God challenges us to prove him, to put him to the test. We have put the principle to the test. It works. The enlightened millionaire acknowledges that God knows where the gold is and allow God to show you. So that is the 22nd AHA. God knows where the gold is. Again, like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.